A Lakewood Ranch family is searching for answers tonight after they discovered the memorial honoring their late father and husband mangled on the side of the road. ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us that the family fears this was not an accident. This memorial is called a ghost bike. It honors Nick Wilson, a local triathlete killed here last month. His family returned just days later to find it destroyed and in pieces. If anything I can do stops somebody else from having this problem, that's a beautiful thing. The memorial was an effort to raise bicycle safety awareness and honor Wilson, a husband and father of two who was hit by a car while riding along the rain road in June. He just held a, a large passion within his life. Wilson's family says he died doing what he loved, training for his next race. Several loved ones, including his cousin Angela Baker, drove from all over the state to place this ghost bike near the site of his death. And our hope was that it would be there, you know, kind of going forward, and that way we were in the area. Can, you know, just even stop by there just to take a moment to kind of reflect on him. But only eight days later, his mother returned to find the memorial scratched, bent, and dinged. It was completely demolished. No handlebars, the wheels were ruined. Um, and it's just kind of heartbreaking to see something that is kind of a part of you and what you've gone through just really be trashed. It felt like kind of like a closure, and then to just have that wound kind of open back up again just a week later, you know, was very difficult. What appear to be tire tracks are visible in the grass just inches away from the damaged bike. And now the family demands to know if this was an accident or vandalism. It's just not right to kind of stab everybody in the heart so shortly after we've gone through all of this. There's a new ghost bike across the street from the damaged memorial. Wilson's family hopes this one will last longer so they can continue to honor his legacy. Reporting in Lakewood Ranch, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.